Couple lead deck here with Tyler Johnstone, offensive tackle. Tyler, just talk about fall camp so far. Um, you know, I think it's been really good. It's, uh, I mean, just put it simply, uh, sure. you know, it's been really high intensity. We wear uh, these GPS things on our back every day, and and uh, we're kind of comparing the results of this camp to last camp's results from the same from the same players wearing the same GPSs, and and our intensity has increased uh, by a lot. And we're getting more plays off every day, and we're running faster, and and just being. And just uh, being high motor guys, everybody. So, is that specific to the offensive line, or also just to the whole team? Uh, that's the whole team. You know, um, I mean, we got a couple standout guys that are just putting up insane numbers, and and uh, you know, on the offensive line, we do our best to keep up with those guys. But it's always so much you can do when you're 300 pounds. Who are the guys putting up those crazy numbers? Um, you know, Raheem Castell is one guy that got called out last night. Um, I mean, the way the numbers work, if you're anything over about 550, you're doing a pretty incredible job. And his was somewhere around 630 on these things, and and so everybody's doing. Everybody's doing really great with that, and, and there's a couple guys just excelling. So, A lot of it's made out of uh, what you, Jake, and Haronis have done the last couple of years. Talk about filling those guard spots and, and kind of who stands out. I've talked to Greatwood a couple of weeks ago, and it sounded like there were about three or four guys. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, we have a, a few guys rotating in right now, and, uh, you know, Andre is doing a great job there at left guard. And, and uh, you know, then Hamani Stevens, Mona Gray, and Everett Benyard, all, all four of those guys have been rotating in and out with the ones and twos. Um, they're all doing uh, great things, you know, picking up reads, uh, learning their playbooks. And like I say, Mona greg has been here for since ancient times. Same thing with Ev. So they know they know everything about the offense. And and uh, and Hamani and Andre, just real physical dudes that are learning their way through too. So uh, yeah, I mean, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. You know, anybody that they put in there that they decide is going to take those spots, we're comfortable, and we got a good chemistry across the line. So we're gonna we're gonna dominate with whoever's in there. Being such close friends with, with Andre, any pulling interest there, kind of trying to egg him on, try to help him get that spot? Um, you know, I, the way I look at it, whatever's going to benefit the team the most is, is what it is. You know, so I don't, I'm not trying to be biased towards any one individual player. Uh, you know, it'd be, it'd be really cool, I think, a cool story to play next to him just because he's one of my best friends. Um, you know, but I'm also like, Mona Gray's one of my best friends as well. And, and so it's kind of them two that are kind of platooning at the left guard position as, as of current. Um, but yeah, like I said, I mean, Whoever's better is whoever I want there. To be honest, I mean, there's no, I mean, we, I mean, when when it comes to the end of the day, I, I, we want to win games. So I mean, whatever the coaches thinks best is what's going to happen. Uh, Coach Great was, Greatwood was also talking about how Andre had been moving outside a little bit to play yeah. tack up tackle behind you and, and Jake. Uh, he also made it sound like there might be some concern in terms of tackle depth. Uh, who are the guys to you that are standing up behind you, and, and kind of what are you doing to help them kind of get where they need to be? Um, you know, I mean, yeah, I, I think I agree with Coach Raywood. You know, Andre has been, has been backing me and Jake up, and he's been doing a great job with it. Um, he's just a really versatile player, and he can kind of put him anywhere. Um, you know, some other guys, I mean, um, Ev is, is really the experience of tackle as well. He's played tackle the past few years. And, and then we got guys like uh, Matt Pearson who's backing up, and also uh, uh, Cameron Hunt has actually been running twos a little bit and, and stepping up a little bit. Um, so once he gets the playbook, uh, a little down pat, a little more, you know, we're helping him out with that. Um, he's going to be a really solid play for us, and, and, and I think uh, I think we're going to be solid at the tackle spot. Uh, Coach Greatwood talked about how fundamentally sound Hunt was for a freshman. Absolutely. What stands out with him, and, and what, why do you think that's the, the evaluation that it is? Um, you know, the thing with him is, is, as far as footwork goes, I mean, the biggest adjustment, I think, for incoming freshmen, and especially for me, you know, is that realization is that footwork is everything on the offensive line. And... Uh, you know, back in high school, you can play with crossover feet and just driving people and just being nasty, and that'll get you through. Um, but the thing with Cameron Hunt is his footwork doesn't need as much coaching as maybe the average offensive lineman. I didn't need as much coaching as mine did, absolutely. Um, you know, I think then like so that the footwork being the biggest part of and being an offensive lineman at the college level, uh, he's got that. You know, he's he has really good footwork, and, and I think that's what's uh, allowing him to play at a high level early. Now, it seems like every day someone's talking about how well the defensive line is playing. How much are they pushing you and kind of, I mean, is that surprising to see how good they've been this fall? Uh, it's not surprising at all. You know, I mean, they got a, a good group of leaders. Uh, you know, you got Taylor Hart and Wade Kilkeepy leading that group. Um, great group of guys, and, and it's, it comes with no surprise. You know, they're all hardworking, um, big dudes, athletic, all hard, all athletic, high motor guys. I mean, there's, I mean, the list goes on and on, you know, so they're uh, just a great group. And the, the best thing about it is it just makes us so much better. You know, they know our plays. They're going to react to how our plays are doing, you know, but that's what's going to make us better in the long run, you know, because eventually we're going to be playing against guys that don't know exactly what we're talking about when we go to the line. So, I mean, playing with guys that do know that stuff, it's, it's just going to make us improve all that much. All that much. Who, who have you matched up with on the outside that's really given you trouble this, this fall? Um, Taylor Hart and Eric Armstead for sure. Um, you know, I mean, and actually Tony Washington too. He's, he's a really, he gets really low in his stance and um, he's really difficult to move and then, 
when you talk about yeah. Taylor Hart and Eric, they're just huge dudes, you know, and, and Taylor has all the experience in the world. He's just super athletic. Um, he just knows how to use his body and leverage himself against you in ways that you don't really think possible. So it's uh, it's pretty difficult to move those guys around, you know, but like I said, that just forces you to kind of re-leverage yourself, rework your game, and improve on it. Thanks, Alan. Appreciate yep. it. Yep.